Last time you left us, we were looking around St Andrews, where the open golf will now be currently underway. And from there, we went on to the Chariots of Fire beach. No running, just walking. We spent the night at a park up in our broth, where we had to move on for a very unusual reason, a football match. Then it was on to another one of the highlights, a planned visit on our trip, Dunnotter Castle. It really does look an amazing place to visit, and to be honest, we were not disappointed. This castle is definitely not for the faint of heart. I cannot tell you just how many steps there were. I was going to leave the footage uncut to show you how long it took us to get there, but to be honest, it was nearly five minutes, I think. It's not good for the knees, is it? I find it harder going down, to be honest. I mean, you can see why it'd be a bit impregnable, can't you? <laughs> and there it is, Blue's <laughs> usual fuss. Remember Dan and Mazzy walked over there to see some puffins, didn't they? <sighs> what an epic setting this is. And there's more. What goes down must go up. Is that it now? Almost here. I will. Yeah, you made it. I made it to here. <laughs> we were to meet this gentleman again a little later on our way out. He would give us some interesting information about how things were done around the castle back then.
Dunlutter Castle has starred in many feature films, including Braveheart and more recently Game of Thrones. Dunlutter Castle has been the ancestral home of the Keith clan, the Earls of Marischal. The land was granted to them by Robert the Bruce, and it was Robert's grandson who built the original keep in the 1400s. The castle stayed with the Keith clan until 1715, when the 10th Earl fought alongside the Jacobites against the English and was convicted of treason, and as a result of that forfeited his lands and the castle. I can remember which comedian it was that had that catchphrase, or might have been a magician, and there's more. Answers in the comments, please. The castle had a very important duty. It was where the Scottish crown jewels were kept. They were actually hidden from Oliver Cromwell during the Civil War in England, and they were smuggled out and returned to Edinburgh for safekeeping. Previously, in 1297, when the castle was held by the English troops, William Wallace besieged it. The soldiers took refuge in the chapel, but unfortunately it wasn't a safe place to be, because William Wallace showed no mercy, set the chapel alight, and all the soldiers died. So Bernie set to and signed the visitor's book, English Royalty in the Scottish Castle. But there were some pretty lavish meals cooked up in this kitchen in its day. Word is scary. It was time for a drink. It's funny, we always seem to remember to take one for blue. You're right, I never blue. actually think that we might need one. Dry. Oh, hello. <laughs> Looking hydrated. Enough. Hmm? <laughs> some more? No? The castle is mainly in ruin today due to the forfeiting of it by the 10th Earl. In 1717, it was sold to the York Mining Company and they stripped everything of any value away. Mm -hmm. The floors, the ceilings, the furniture, everything. The fact that they had horses up here really fascinated me, and it was a question I was to ask the maintenance man on our way out later. Just how did they get the horses up here?
What a view they must have had. 160 feet to the sea below. Like most castles, this one has its haunted spots too. Is he trying to blame you, Blue? We think this is where they drop the food into them. It would have been very dark in here if you imagine this with the door on. And it's not very big. Is that a loo in the corner? And we think that might have been a loo. Lovely. So imagine though if there was you know, a dozen people in here. It'd be awful. Goes up. You all right, Blue? You manage. In 1919, the castle was purchased by Lord and Lady Cowdray and they began an extensive programme of restoration and the ceiling in the drawing room is one of them. They wanted to conserve it, to protect it for future generations and opened it to public shortly after. you again now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, I don't know, it was me coming up the stairs now. <laughs> Been very fit these medieval people. Uh, either that or they just didn't go out and spend most of their life here. 
Can you imagine not getting the milk in the bread? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, yeah, well, no, I was thinking. <laughs> what about how did they get the horses up here? I'm curious. Here. Oh, like, this way. These are 1920s. These ah, right, uh, okay. The, uh, steps. Yeah. This would have been a lot lower, and the horse uh, would have just been trotted up. Right. If you look at the front door as well, you see everything's been reduced over the years. Right. Um, because obviously it was just big grand back in the day and just close to all down. Yeah, yeah. The, it's amazing. Uh, Absolutely yeah. incredible. You imagine one, every one of these stones would have been carried in on horse or labour because uh, they're not local. Again, it's a further mm. away quarry. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Just it's a ama it's truly amazing feat of engineering, isn't it? You see when you ask the kind of you get like the local tradesmen in, yeah, because they are sort of vans with them, of course. Kind of come in and like, how do we get a van up? Into the <laughs> <laughs> Everything has to be lugged up by hand, mate. You'll have to do a <laughs> pulley. Well, the thing was, see, in the twenties when they did this. The roof here, which is a slate roof, and the drawing room roof. Oh, inside. beautiful! Yeah. The zip wire, the column, came in the trolley, was actually oh, on the other headland. Right, yeah. And it come to the back of the key. Yeah. I've actually still got all this stuff in one of the sheds here. Yeah. So, it didn't yeah. take any people over that way then. Yeah. The, 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 there was story told that the castle custodian at the time was first to go over. And that you wouldn't have really... Uh, no, thanks. Really, no. You would have sent you a big stain or something. Like that. <laughs> That's, I've still got the pulleys and all the yeah, yeah. ropes and that and stuff. And there's still remnants of the A frames on the headland as well. Yeah, yeah. So, no. Yeah, you can imagine, I could have done with that. With yeah. The, so, do you have to climb these steps every day? Well, you're looking at. I because sometimes, because I'm the only maintenance man, there's nobody else. So, it's for the car parks or the yeah. paths, lodges. Yeah, yeah. So, you're, if there's something breaks, it can be six, seven times a day up and down the stairs. Oh, well, I'll keep you I'm fit. Day, I'm going to say, it's them steps going back up. Yeah, I'm in the bed for seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I've just said I could do with a nap. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, well, Thank I'm you. Bye-bye. Have you seen her? People have. There's been... I didn't have my glasses on any day, but the, the, the latest one was a lassie come up and she says, hey, look at my phone, look at my phone. And Kenny, she was yeah, yeah. even fuzz, but I couldn't see anything because I didn't have my glasses with me. But she was convinced it was... You said that, you should have had your camera. I just sat up there and I said, you know, I feel like going back and taking... Because I was in there on my, my own and I just stood and I was listening. And I said to you, I said, I should have taken some photographs. Yeah. Uh, It'll it, be on the video. It's got a lot of feeling about it, like, isn't it? He wasn't too happy. No. no he, he, and yeah. you see that, the dog's noticed. Yeah, it, yeah. Right? He just stood there. Mm. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. I'm like 15 feet from you. It's not good on the old knees, is it? No, none of us. Thank you. Yeah, well, okay. Bye, then. Oh, yeah, well, you can go if you want. I'll uh, meet you up here or down here. Mm -hmm. Only back in a minute. We didn't get to see the Green Lady, but Donald Trump made a surprise appearance. We are currently doing circles in Aberdeen.
Turn left at the traffic light, then take the second left. Why don't sat lights know? You know, that if there's a pedestrian zone, then they should, the sat nav should have, they updated it before we left. I'm going to lose my temper with the sat nav. Have you seen all those lines on there, look? All the brown lines are where we've been. Parked, we thought we'd take a little bit of time out and relax with a little bit of YouTube. What better way to spend the evening? And to be honest, our blue seemed to prefer this much better than that football. Join us next time when we visit Dracula's Castle. <laughs>